The Lawrence Welk Show. Now sit back and enjoy tonight's show. Especially selected for public television by America's favorite music man. Your host, Lawrence Welk. Hi, folks. Are you ready for some Halloween fun? I surely hope so, because we're going to a party. Our sensational producer, director, Jim Hobson, came up with wonderful ideas for our Halloween shows every year. And we had a great time on this particular telecast, which was first presented back in 1975. Everybody dressed up in custom. You'll see Bobby and Sissy as a couple of devils three pretty witches on a broomstick, and our lovely and talented champagne lady, Norma Simra, disguised as a scarecrow. Norma, as a scarecrow, you look beautiful. Larry Hooper and some friendly ghosts and goblins are getting together right now in the local haunted house. So if you're ready, folks, why don't we join them? <laughs> This old house that's in the rain, this old house that's in the cold. On my knees I'm a getting chilly, but I feel no fear of pain. Cause I see an angel peeking through a broken window pane. I ain't gonna need this house no longer, I ain't gonna need this house no more. I ain't got Ain't got time to oil the hinges, nor to mend the window pane. It looks like our Halloween party is off to a good start. And we're so glad you folks could join us for an hour of fun. Just to be sure everyone gets into the spirit of the party, we're going to have a little audience participation with our people in our studio audience, our studio guests. Uh, gentlemen, ready? A uh, one and two and three.
folks, you had a little bit of old black magic. And folks, please don't confuse the dancing with the odd couple. Here's a good-looking young man who has brought us a lot of new fans, especially young ladies. Friends, Tom Netherton. Thank you, Mr. Will. Well, ladies and gentlemen, here's a, a beautiful song that I hope you're going to enjoy, but first I'm going to let uh, Bob say it in the mail. Excuse me. Set the mood for the song. Bob? <laughs> popular husband and wife team, Guy and Rana, picked an ideal song for our Halloween party. Look out, folks, we're riding out one dark and windy day. Up on a ridge, he rested as he went along his way. Still on fire and their hooks were made of steel. Their horns were black and shiny and their hot breath he could feel. A bolt of fear went through him as they thundered through the sky. So he saw the riders coming home and he heard their mournful cry. Yippee! one call his name did he want to save your soul from hell riding on this rain then cowboy change your ways today or with us you will ride the tribe against the devil's herd across these endless skies you be
There's lots of strange characters around this time of year, like those uh, uh, creatures behind us back there. But anyway, there's one in particular, one evil spirit that uh, celebrates this holiday, right? That's right. And he goes by a lot of names. The one I remember the most as a kid was, Mama used to tell me, the boogeyman's Boogie gonna, gonna get you. <laughs> That's the one I remember. But uh, it, no matter what names, you're gonna, you're gonna recognize him. You're gonna see two of him right here if you'll keep your eyes glued to that television set. Bobby and Sissy and Satan Takes a Holiday. Amazed, folks. They always come through for you, no matter what kind of a uh, job we give them to do for the show. This next sweet young lady would be a hit at any party. Our charming little Mexican senorita, Ana Cani. <laughs> You heard me. 
said Sandy, Gail, and Mary Lou sing just as pretty as they look. This evening they sing even prettier. Watch and listen. Ted Plains. These girls really get around them. Each of these next two musicians is absolutely tops on his instrument. Uh, occasionally, they like to get into a disguise and have a little fun. I think you'll enjoy this duet by a couple of familiar characters. Thank <laughs> you. 
Well, of course, Harpo Marx couldn't talk, but I'm going to talk here for just a little bit. I might say that I remember doing a show with Harpo way about uh, 25 years ago, and when I was introduced to him, I told him how glad I was to meet me, and he... We offer you a little variety in this next song. First, you'll hear our country gal, Ava Barber, then gentleman, Jimmy Roberts. been lonely have you ever been blue have you ever loved someone just as i love you can't you see that i'm sorry for each mistake i've made can't you see i've changed you see I pay be a little forgiving take me back in your heart how can I go on living now that we're apart if you for a beautiful song. Yes, folks, it really is our lovely champagne lady, Norma Simmer. Simpering, whimpering child again You itched for 
And of course, there is no way to disguise that beautiful voice. The title of this next song seems quite timely for this show. Full Moon and Empty Arms. Here's a concert arrangement directed by George Cates. and the champagne music makers. Just excellent, George. Wonderful, wonderful. The lovely Samanski sisters, our new uh, six misses, are fast becoming a hit. Here they are getting into the Halloween spirit. Little Michelle starts us off. Take you far. 
afraid of a thing you're doing a wonderful job now we're going to take you to outer space for a few giant steps by our flying king of taps Arthur Duncan <laughs> joined a gang at our Halloween party and as you might expect some strange things are happening let's see if you can recognize these people <laughs>
Big Dale may be a mad scientist, but he sure has an eye for pretty girls, Sandy Gale and Mary Lou. Here's a melody by the Norwegian composer Edvard Grieg. It seems to have the proper flavor for this show in the Hall of the Mountain King. One, two. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, we always get some very nice results when we team up this talent or two some. My lovely Italian daughter-in-law, Tanya, and our great trombone man, Bob Havens. <laughs> Thank you. 
was kind of this next gentleman to add a little fun to our show. Here's our own fashion plate, Candilo. It's only a shabby, an old shabby town. The roof is so slanty, it touches the ground. That's not too bad, huh? People might even mistake me for Billy Eckstein, brother Frank Eckstein, huh? Uh -huh. oh, what do you folks expect, my master? Well, what? Just a tumble down track by an old railroad track. Like a millionaire's mansion is calling me back. This is cheap castle stuff. I'd give up a palace if I were a king. It's more than a palace, it's my everything. Well, there's a queen waiting there with a silvery hair. And I'd chant in old chatty town. Now there's a shanty in a town by the land by the ground where the green sun's so it's all around, all around. The rust so won't so badly tone hangs down to the ground. Just a tumble down sack that sits right back about 25 feet from the railroad track. Lingers on my mind most all of the time. Gotta get back to a little old shack now. Be as classy, highly classy. If I were a king, would mean a thing. Put your boots on tall, read the right stuff. Or it wouldn't mean a thing. Not a dog on me. But there's a queen waiting there in her rocking chair. Blow on her top for a schooner of the air. Walking all around and trucking on down. Gotta get back to a shanty town. That shanty. An old shanty town. You people have seen television history being made. Frank Estai split his pants for the first time. <laughs> Woo! You guys got a great view back there. <laughs> we seem to be having a lot of fun at our party. <laughs> Some of us more fun than others. <laughs> Getting into the spirit of things here. And so we now present a real fun number for you. More fun than that was. <laughs> Here's Bobby and Sissy and Mary Lou and Jack Emmo.
friends, I think maybe that's one show Ken Vila will always remember. You can see why we had such a good time at our Halloween party. enjoyed our Halloween party. As you can see, my musical family and I are still just kids at heart. Now keep a song in your heart and may all your memories be happy. musical highlights from upcoming programs of the Lawrence Welk Show. The science fiction thriller which set back relations between plants and humans quite a distance, Day of the Triffids, is coming up at 9 on our silver screen. Following Mystery, next. I'll be the same. 